Welcome back to What Are Noobs with General Disturbance, and that is a GW Tiger P, the Geschutzfragen Tiger P, and the name of the player is OK Aim 7, or OK Aim 7, um, and you can see that's a two marked GW there, so uh, he should do very nicely in this battle. He's on the south spawn of Cliff, and they're off. As you may know, the GW Tiger P is the Tier 8 German SPG. Okay, he's extended his A. I'm looking for targets. Ah, oh, a tree went over there. <laughs> yeah, there's another one. <laughs> The enemy are giving away their presence, and there's some targets right away. A Revelry, say a Centurion, and an E50M. Looks to be his first target. Rounds out. Oh, slightly away. He did stun it, but um, that's about all he did. It was very hastily aimed, that shot, so chances of him hitting the target were fairly remote RNG will come into play but it looks like he's going for the super conqueror or is it the centurion he hasn't made his mind up on which which target no it's centurion he's going for rounds out and he hits the target definite hit Those targets have disappeared. I still see the Super Conqueror and the E50M. Oh, big chunk of hit points missing from that Centurion. He definitely hit it hard. And he's not going for any of the tanks on top of the hill. He's definitely concentrating on the enemy tanks that are in grid squares E5 and E6. And that shell overshoots the Super Conqueror. But he still does 139 hit points of damage to it. From Splash alone. Now the top gun on this uh, RT is a uh, 21 centimeter Mauser. Or Morsa. And a direct hit, it could do an alpha damage of 1,100 hit points. Rounds out. Direct hit! 773 recorded, but 448 on the uh, on the list. 458, sorry, beg your pardon. And a nice stun on it too. That Super Conqueror is pulling away. Okay, looks like he's going to try and help. On the other side, there's a Lerva, a Conqueror. And they're coming under heavy pressure. He's got a Super Conqueror and a Liberté on his side. But there's um, a T100 LT on top of the hill. Battling against an M4A1. And he gets a lovely hit there. 312 hit points into the Conqueror. He's moving position. You see the Conqueror is still stunned as well as the Lerva. They just lost their own Lerva, and he's trying to aim at that E75. It's only a short time left to get the reload completed. It's going for the E75, rounds out. Direct hit, but only 342 hit points. There's a right old battle going on on top of the hill between that uh, T100 LT, the Revelarise, and another T100 LT on the enemy team. And it looks like OK7 is going to give it some assistance. I think we just call him OK from now on, actually. <laughs> Easier to say. Oh, they lost the T100 LT, but he shoots. 
And he's killed both of them. He got the Revelry say and the T100 LT with one shot. That's a bombardier. So well done, OK Aim 7. OK, there's a Conqueror there. He's indicating that's his target. He's almost reloaded. It's rocking backwards and forwards on the same spot. Presumption is it's still there. Is he going to shoot? No, I don't think he is. He's waiting for another sighting. But the only one that can spot it is the Liberté. And he's slightly further on around the, the mountain. Ah, oh, there he is. It is spotted. And it is still in the same spot. So he would have been okay if he fired. And a lovely 307 hit points this time. And he's extended his aim, but too far there. Going back to the Oho. There are four tanks up at the moment, so he can afford to um, be flexible about where he's putting his support. That Liberté seems to have that side of the mountain under control. They've cleared the Western Pass, and in fact the KV-4 is now in the enemy side of the map. And unfortunately all that round does is uh, do a little bit of damage to the Oho. And a lot of stun assist. So he can thank the uh, his own teammates for putting in that uh, shot after it had been stunned. Now he's going for the E75. It's got more hit points than the Lurva. Although he would kill the Lurva if he hit it. Almost reloaded. He's loaded. Rounds out. Oh, it fell short. But the E75 is killed directly afterwards and he picks up the stun assist there. Unfortunately, they've lost the... Um, they've lost the Liberté. But the enemy is now down to just four tanks. Two heavies, a medium and a tank destroyer. The Lurva, the uh, Super Conquer, Conqueror, a Type 61... And the STRVS1, which we haven't seen. And we have to presume that the STRV is probably in grid squares A5 or A6. Because he hasn't been spotted or wasn't spotted in the Western Pass. And we lost the Lurva on our side. There's the Super Conqueror. We can't hit him. but the And the Type 61 is in the lee of the hill, so we can't hit him either which rather limits where they can apply their... Ah, oh, they can probably hit the Super Conqueror now. If he keeps pushing that wreck, he'll push it out far enough. To... And he does! 49 hit points! He takes out the Super Conqueror as he's unwisely trying to push that wreck forward as a shield. He gets a round right on top of him. Okay... Okay, AIM-7 is indicating where he thinks the uh, STRV is. He thinks the Stritzvan is up the um, the mountainside, that it's goated up there. And that's why it hasn't been spotted. It's far enough away. And it's in cover. There it is. Yes, yeah, he was right. That's exactly where it went. Rounds out. And he splashed it. 372. And it's been killed, so he picked up all the stun assist after that. Which just leaves the Type 61. We know exactly where he is. And he's being surrounded right now. The TVP, the T1, the ISU-152. They're all going in for the last kill. And he's taken out by the uh, by the ISU-152. Lovely battle there. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it was an ace tanker for OK Aim 7 in the GW Tiger P. He also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, crew incapacitations or module damage. In fact, he got 16 critical hits in total. And of course, he picked up that bombardier for taking out the TL, uh, 
T100LT and the Revelerise on top of the uh, lighthouse uh, mountain. So well done indeed. If we look at the team score, we can see that he came top when it came to damage with 3,042 hit points. Only just top, the uh, Wizzy111 almost uh, came there. Uh, he also came top when it came to kills with three, and he came top with base XP of 1,273 hit points. Uh, 20 hit points, experience points, sorry, beg your pardon. Uh, he fired 12 rounds, he got 5 direct hits, 5 penetration, 11 splash damage. He did damage of 3,042 uh, hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He hit 8 of the enemy, killed 3 of them. He also did 2,256 hit points of stun assistance and got 13 stuns. He earned 57,564 credits, but after ammunition resupply and consumables, he takes away only 12,604 credits. He earned XP of 1,910, but he also got 1, uh, 191 for playing in a platoon, so he took away 2,101 experience points in total. So well done, OK, aim seven. A uh, nice uh, battle there, and you certainly gave assistance on virtually all flanks, uh, except, of course, the Western Passage, which they seem to deal with quite nicely all on their own. So well done indeed. If you enjoyed this replay, please do give it a like and do subscribe to our channel because uh, it really helps us and helps the members. Uh, and hopefully I'll be seeing you in the next replay.